Welcome everyone to another episode of Truth Talks. And today we are doing part two of God, I need your help. <laughs> and we do need God's help every single day. And guess what? All of he, us. Yes, all of us. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He has sent us help. Mm -hmm. God has sent help. You are not alone. He's got help for you. And we're, we're talking about it tonight. So praise the Lord. Do um, you want to pray? Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for the help that you have sent us. And we just thank you that as we talk about the Holy Spirit, that um, the truth of the Holy Spirit is just revealed in the mm -hmm. hearts of those who are listening. And that the revelation and the realization that we do have help is is known to people and that they will seek out and desire the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And that, that is uh, important, Tammy, <clears throat> what you just prayed, is that we seek out mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. We need His help. Um, let's, let's get right into this. John 16, 4, did you want to say something? Yeah, um, just thinking about that, how, um, you know, it's so easy now if you don't know how to do anything, you can go to YouTube and look it up how to do it. Pretty and, much. You know, pretty much. find help, uh, figure out, find help how to do something. And, you know, realizing that Jesus sent us the Holy Spirit to help us in everything. And uh, rather than trying to seek out, seek him out and desire his help and seek him, we decide to just do it on our own mm -hmm. and uh, but yet in the natural we don't even do that with you know how do I fix this pipe under mm -hmm. my sink I don't know mm -hmm. I'll seek out help I'll go to YouTube um, but in this in the uh, really important things in life we'll just try to struggle through and handle mm -hmm. it ourselves so absolutely so okay. John 16 4, 4 through 11 I'm gonna start in the New Living Translation okay Yes, I'm telling you these things now so that when they happen, you will remember I warned you. I didn't tell you earlier because I was going to be with you for a while longer. But now I'm going away to the one who sent me. And none of you, and none of you has asked me where I'm going. Instead, you're very sad. But it is actually best for you that I go away because if I don't, the counselor won't come. Who's the counselor? It's the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. If I do go away, he will come because I'll send him to you. And when he comes, he'll convince the world of its sin and of God's righteousness and of the coming judgment. The world's sin is unbelief in me. Righteousness is available because I go to the Father and you will see me no more. And judgment will come because the prince of this world has already been judged. Here we go. So, um, the, actually, we can, let's read on down to... 15. Oh, there's so much more I want to tell you, but you can't bear it now. Isn't that interesting? You know, and I want to say this, we ask God to tell us things. I know I've mm -hmm. asked the Lord to tell me things, and he's basically said, no, it's not time yet. So that's another part of that whole thing. The Holy Spirit knows when is the right time. He receives mm -hmm. that from from Jesus. Um, let's see, where, where am I at here? Uh, when the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you into all truth. He will, um, let's see here, He will not be presenting His own ideas. He will be telling you what He has heard. He will tell you about the future. Listen, even the Holy Spirit does not present His own ideas. So, we don't need to be giving our ideas. We need to be speaking the Word of mm -hmm. God. What does the Word say? I say this to people all the time. What does God's Word say? Let's go back to that and stand on that. Don't take it from me. Let's go to the Word and see what it says. Um, he will uh, bring me glory by revealing to you whatever He receives from me. All that the Father has is mine. This is what I mean when I say that the Spirit will reveal to you whatever He receives from me. So you can Praise trust the, the Holy Spirit. Right. So you what is trust. so you can trust 
And this, you know, last week we talked about the paraclete mm -hmm. and that Jesus sent the Holy Spirit as a paraclete with all of these advocate, intercessor, pleader, comforter, helper. But look at this, look at this. He will reveal, the Spirit will reveal to you whatever he receives to, from me. So the Holy Spirit, part of the responsibility of the Holy Spirit in the Trinity is to bring revelation mm -hmm. right from the throne. Where mm -hmm. is Jesus? He's sitting on the throne. So whatever Jesus wants the Holy Spirit to reveal, that's going to be revealed. Mm -hmm. So he is a revealer. He's a, he brings revelation into our lives. And you know, Jesus says in verse, I think it's seven, um, not one of you has have asked, where are you going? Instead, the longer I've talked, the sadder you've become. So let me say it again, this truth. It's better for you that I leave. If I don't leave, the friend won't come. But if I go, I'll send him to you. And you think about how, you know, Jesus had been with the disciples and he's, you know, he's telling them about his upcoming uh, uh, crucifixion and resurrection and they're still not quite getting it. But saying, it's better for you that I go. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jesus says, it is better for us that he is not here on the earth with us today mm -hmm. because he sent the Holy Spirit to be here. Mm -hmm. um, well, and think about that, Tammy. Jesus in the flesh is in one place at one time, mm -hmm. but in the Holy Spirit, there's this revelation of him Mm -hmm. going out everywhere. And um, I don't know if you're going to talk about this or you wanted to talk about this, but what does the Holy Spirit do in this verse? Yeah. Uh, in this, these passages that we just said. Let me, I've got the message okay, remix here. Uh, but if I go, I'll send him to you. When he comes, he'll expose the error of the godless world's view of sin, righteousness, and judgment. Okay, so. That's the spirit of truth. He's going to be exposing the error of the godless world's view of sin. Okay, he, right. He'll show them. So, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, is that part of the next? There's three things there. He'll right? show them that their refusal to believe in me is their basic sin, that righteousness comes from above where I am with the Father, out of their sight and control, that judgment takes place as the ruler of this godless world is brought to trial and mm -hmm. convicted. So that, that's really huge because the whole, one of the responsibilities of the Holy Spirit is to do these things here. Mm -hmm. Convince the world it is in sin. Expose the no, error. And what, churches don't want to tell people that. No. Outside of a relationship with God, you are in sin. What is sin? What is the, the simplest definition of the word sin, it's rebellion. The world is mm -hmm. in rebellion against God. And what does the Holy Spirit do? He makes people uncomfortable. Do you hear me? He makes people uncomfortable. Some people want to come to church and they don't want to be uncomfortable. Well, don't make, don't say anything that's going to make me, you know, get upset. Sugarcoat the oh, excuse truth. me, whoa, <laughs> I'm getting excited now. He will convince the world. What does that say? Uh, he'll expose, expose the error of the godless world's view of sin. He will expose, he will convince. And what does it say over here in the King James? Um, reprove. So there's the word reprove. He's, so that kind of speaks to... You are doing wrong. That's reproving. And what does it say over here? It says convince. He will, I mean, when the Holy Spirit conviction comes, you're, you're going to know, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. I'm doing wrong. This is wrong. All right, what's the next thing, Tina? Verse 12, I still have many things to tell you, oh, but you minute, can't handle them now. Wait a minute, wait, what was the, the of God's righteousness? Uh, what was that? I want to go through these really slow. Okay. Uh, refusal to, uh, let's see. 
error of the godless world's view of sin, righteousness, and judgment. So that the, the world's view of sin, righteousness, and judgment are an error. Right. And, and so that right there is, so the world, we've been saying this for a couple of years now because of the pandemic, what the world says is good, God says is bad. And what the world says is bad, God says is good when it comes to. So that, that reproving of righteousness or of their idea of oh, right. right standing. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to go to heaven because I'm a good person. Eh, doesn't have anything to do with that. Has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with your acceptance of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, as the Son of God. That's what saves people. That's it. Okay, and the third thing was of the coming judgment. What does that say? Um, and judgment. And judgment. Mm -hmm. So their judgment is coming. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit, th see this is another thing. People don't want to hear, well, I'm not doing bad. I'm good. I'm okay. Wait a minute. What does the Word of God say? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and there's all sorts of things. Go back and watch some of our recent Truth Talks uh, episodes when it, when it uh, uh, what went wrong, right? What went wrong? Go watch that series. Mm -hmm. What went wrong? We talk about all these things going on in the world today where the world says, oh, that's okay, and that's okay, and that's okay. But the Holy Spirit says, no, that's not okay. That's going to be judged, and it's not going to be good. All right, I think I'm off that side. Uh, verse now. 12, 16, 12. I still have many things to tell you, but you can't handle them now. But when the friend comes, the spirit of truth, he will take you by the hand and guide you into all mm. the truth there is. I really like that mm -hmm. sentence in here because that's what the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit uh, is, takes us by the hand and leads us and guides us when you allow him to do mm. that and will guide us into all truth. That's really, that is really good, Tammy. I've read the scripture a thousand times. And the Holy Spirit is so gentle. When we are hungry, He's like, come on, I want to take you and show you what this really is. Mm -hmm. You know, He's not going to hurt us. He's going to bless us in, in the truth. But what, what, is the, what is the key there? Um, he will guide you into all truth. Uh, and I'll continue reading. He won't draw attention to Himself but will make sense out of what is about to happen. That's where you were talking mm -hmm. about the future and deliver it to you. So he'll, he will make sense about what's going to happen and he's going to deliver the truth of that to you. Mm -hmm. Everything the father has is also mine. Jesus is saying this about himself. That is why I have said he, the Holy Spirit takes from me and he delivers it to you. Mm -hmm. So it's a delivery coming from Jesus at the throne of God mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. to help us. And right. uh, he takes from me and he delivers it to you. And it special delivery. Here, here's your help. Your help mm -hmm. is on the way. And, you know, taking you by the hand and leading and guiding you. But you have to seek him. You have to, um, you have to yield to that. And you have to be... Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the word here. You have to be hungry for that. Mm -hmm. You know what? I, what I, what I'm hearing in this, is God wants to show us things. He wants to reveal things to us. You know, some people. I, I've heard people say this. Oh, I guess we're just not supposed to know. I I don't know about that from that perspective, but. I think God wants to reveal himself to us. He wants to reveal things to us. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that there are some things that are not open to us yet, but I know when it comes to my life, I can go to God and say, Lord, please reveal to me what I should do, mm -hmm. what path I should take. That is Holy Spirit revelation time. He wants to reveal those things to us. And if we'll just be open and seek his face, he'll do it. So before we end tonight, um, how, how does the Holy Spirit reveal stuff to you?
How does the Holy Spirit reveal We're talking to about you? the Holy Spirit revealing to us. How does it happen? Well, I believe the number one way that God reveals things to His people is through His Word. How does He reveal to you specifically? To me? Mm -hmm. Let's make it personal. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were going to ask that question. It just came up in my mind. <laughs> yeah. um, well, I take things in prayer to the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, all the time. I mean, as things come up, God, what should I do about this? Lord, please help me. And I feel like usually I just have a inward witness in my spirit. You know, this is my head. My spirit is here. The heart of man is right here. Not my beating heart, but my spirit man is right here. The, out of out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Well, that's where your spirit is. So I would say uh, God reveals to me um, through the inward witness, which is just a, oh, that's the right thing to do. Or I, sometimes I hear the voice of the Lord, not hear, but in here. Mm -hmm. God speaks to me and says, Tom, I don't want you to do that. I want you to do this. And here's how I know it's the Lord. It always lines up with his word. You know, if you had never heard my voice before, you would be like, who's that guy? You wouldn't necessarily be inclined to listen to me. But if you have known me for years, gone to church here, or known me at, at places that I've worked, or at the jail, you would be like, hey, that's Pastor Tom. I know his voice. I know what he's saying. I believe what he says is true, all right? That is what I do. I read the word, I know the word. So when God speaks to me, I know his voice. And I know that you've experienced this. I have, um, when you do um, hear the voice of God and you're being led by the Holy Spirit, does he ever tell you to do something that is not something you would choose to do? All the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Yeah. I'm like, God, no, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. You know, some people might look at me and say, oh my gosh, he's a very forward person. He likes to be out front in front of people. I really don't. <laughs> I mean, it is really hard for me. This is really easy mm -hmm. because it's three people in this room right now. It's me and Tammy and Michaela, and that's it. And that's easy to do, but mm -hmm. it's, I'm not naturally forward and want to do in big groups of people, but God gives me the ability. He shows me how to do it. And when, here's the thing, when God says, that's what I want you to do, Tom, well, then immediately I'm like, okay, God, I receive your power and your ability to do what you've called me to do. I've learned that much. Well, and he promises, the Holy Spirit promises he's your helper. So mm -hmm. if when God tells you to do something, the Holy Spirit leads mm -hmm. you to do something <coughs> like this verse says here, he will take you by the hand and guide you. So Absolutely. it's not like he's like, um, I want you to go over there and do that and just mm -hmm. waiting to, for you to fall. Right. It's like, I want you to come and do this and right there with you, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Well, as, as, so what about you? Did you answer that question? Oh, definitely. I mean, I, that's what I was saying. I know for me too that, you know, you might, I, and myself, I've been praying about things before and God has said, I want you to do this or that. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, really? I, there, I, so. I, really that? And, you know, but when you, you do know the voice of God and when it, you have that, and for me, it doesn't go away either. It's like, uh, not, it's not a nagging, but it's a constant, mm -hmm. um, you know, urging, pulling you along, like, come on, I, I need you to do this. I mm -hmm. want you to do this. And it's gentle, but yet it's, um, you know, authoritative too. Mm -hmm. You need to do this, you need to do this. Right. And um, also <clears throat> the thing that I personally experience when you're talking about, um, you know, hearing that in your spirit, um, there's also peace with that. Mm -hmm. Even if it's something that you're not comfortable with doing, you know, if God is asking you to call somebody or to do something, you may not feel real comfortable about it, but you have a peace about it. And once you do it, you really have a peace about mm -hmm. it because you're like, I did what God wanted me to do, you know, and, and, um, and he helped me to do it. Right, I think another thing too is there have been times in our marriage 
when we both went in our separate prayer times mm -hmm. and prayed about a specific need or desire or direction and we didn't pray together necessarily we we would but separately the lord gave us the same, same answer. answer which is interesting to you know that we didn't say well i think we should do this right no no we just said let's just go pray about it and god gave yeah. us the same answer the same well, direction almost right. the same words right and i know there are times where i've prayed about something and I might kind of, you know, feel a leading of the Holy Spirit in a certain direction, and I'm like, oh, okay, God, um, you told me, but you got to tell him because I'm not going to do it until I've you tell him. I've done the same thing. I've done the same <laughs> yes. thing. Yes. It's like, I'm not going to try to cajole this out of her. You got to talk to her. God, this has got to be her. She has to want this too. And that's and, another whole topic about marriage and yeah, we're not being, get into that. you know, the Holy Spirit leading you <laughs> together. But yes, I want to I want to close with this one thing that Jesus said here, Tammy, and that is in verse fifteen. Uh, this is what I what I mean when I say that the Spirit will reveal to you whatever He receives from me. Well. And you've got written here, and I like this. If Jesus sent the Holy Spirit, we need him, and it's this right here. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit will reveal whatever Jesus is saying. Do you remember when Jesus said, I, I say what I hear the Father say, I do what I hear the Father do, or what I see the Father do. Mm -hmm. um, where do you think that came from? when Jesus was in the earth. It came from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit revealed those things to Jesus mm -hmm. because he is the communication link between heaven and earth. And that's what God, that's how Jesus knew what the Father was saying and doing. Hey, Father says this. Hey, Father's doing this. This is what Father wants done. Mm -hmm. You gotta do that. You know, that's what's going to bring the success. I'm at a point in my life, Tammy, I don't want to do anything but what Jesus says. I'm, 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 I fail. I make mistakes. And I have to be like, oh, God, I, I didn't do that right. Help me do this right. I want to do it right. I want to be successful. I want people. And, and I think sometimes when we say successful, we think, oh, money. I'm talking about successful with people. Mm -hmm. I want to be successful at bringing the Word of God into people's lives so their lives will change for the better. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. The world is dying daily, and, and they need Jesus. We need Jesus, and we need to speak Jesus. Mm -hmm. We need to pray. Father, we just bless you tonight. We thank you for this word, Lord. It's so good. We're so excited. And we're just still scratching around the surface. And we're going to get deeper and deeper and deeper into the beautiful Holy Spirit and what he does for us. We just bless you, Lord. We just pray for every person watching that they will be filled with the Holy Spirit and the power of God to walk in this life as total powerhouses for Jesus. We bless you, God, and we thank you for your love over us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you haven't subscribed, do it. Press the notification bell so you get all the notices about what's going on here. We love you. Leave a comment if you'd like to. And if you've never been here to Cornerstone, this is a wonderful church. We love this place. It's so exciting. God is moving here. And if you don't have a church, just come check it out. If you don't like it, don't stay. Go find another church. But you need the word. Whatever you do, you need the word. God bless you. We can't wait to meet you. See ya.